Hi everybody, this is Daniel from Relaunch and today I want to show you how you can create custom tabs in WooCommerce. By default, as you might know, WooCommerce has three tabs already and this one here is a product um, that we will later have custom tabs on that has the three tabs here that you see at the bottom. So it has description, you have additional information and reviews. In the description, the long description of the product will be shown and in additional information uh, you have for example attributes of a product, like here for example the color, and then of course you have the reviews. But in most cases either you want to, yeah, for example, remove one of the standard WooCommerce tabs or you want to rename them or, or you want to go ahead and create custom new tabs. And therefore, we have a plugin developed, which makes it very easy to do all this stuff. And I will directly jump into the back end now and show you some stuff that we can do with the plugin. So, when I go into the back end, you will have under WooCommerce a new menu item called Ultimate Tabs. And in Ultimate Tabs, you can enable our plugin. So, if I click on On here, for example, you will see different many options of the plugin. Uh, you have amount of global tabs, so with global tabs you can create tabs that apply to certain products automatically and you don't have to create the tabs for each product itself, which makes it very comfortable. And you have the op opportunity to reorder or disable the general tabs. For example, if we want to yeah, disable reviews and we want to rename additional information to uh, technical data, then we can do that here, save the changes, I will go back into the product and you will see we have description, we have technical data and we already have two tabs that we created before. Well, where have we created them before? I will show it to you when we edit product. For example, we now have a new section here in the editing one, this is called custom tabs. And here you can see we have different many custom tabs per product. For example, as we saw right now, we have tab 1. We have the priority in which order, for example, this tab will show and one will overwrite the description tab, for example. So it will be placed before that. And then you have a text field where you can write stuff into that custom product field. My new tab, for example, you can also make that bold. And we just click on update and if we now go back to the product you would see the tab 1 has changed and we have a custom tab 1 hello and this is also the bold text that we just edited here before. But what's more important and many of you don't want to create custom tabs per product all the time uh, that is why we have this global section. So I will jump back into the admin panel now and you will see here on the left that we will have 1, 2, 16 global or category tabs. Let me open up for example the first one here. Then I click on enable because we want to use that and we will use this tab for support. For example, we want to have a contact form here or we want to have some text. I will just rename that support. We can, same as you saw before for custom tabs, also set the priority here. This one has priority 60, so it will be somewhere at the end. And then you have different callback types. Right now, for example, you have a contact form 7 callback, which will render a form that you can select here automatically. Let's say the inquiry form will be shown. Then in the tab itself, you will see the form of a user, which will show this special contact form. Let me save the changes. I will go back to this custom product. And you will see here that here's a new tab. As I said, it's on the bottom or at the very end with the new contact form 7 that we just placed here. Then, for example, the customer can type his name, his email, subject, and he can ask for support. Or you can use that for ask different questions around the plugin, uh, around the product or something like that, just as you like. Furthermore, you also see an icon here and you see the color has changed. 
So within every global tabs, you not only have the possibility to create content, but you also have the possibility to add some stylings, as we see here. So you can add an icon, for example, you can change the text color or the background color. You can also have a special background if you want. And what's more important is you can also apply it only for certain product categories. Let's say this is a special support tab for CDs. Then we apply that only to the, uh, I think it's for the music, for the music product category. And it will no longer be appear on any other product categories. You can do the same with products itself. Let's say we only want to show it on the custom tab product that we just created. We click on save changes. And you will see the tab support CDs is now available on product with custom tabs. If I remove that, I also remove that CD. There are also different more callback types, as I would say. So, for example, the most common one is, for example, just an editor. If I click on visual, I can write my custom support tab for support contact us at blah 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 at blah 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 gmail.com save the changes and we would see here at support my custom support tab and the email that we just write here. You can also use short codes for example if you use the Flatsome UX builder you can place in some yeah, content blocks here or if you use Elementor you can use uh, several different yeah, blocks you also um, for the more you can show also direct product categories let's say for example the music category if I choose that and save we would see under support here the product categories music that we just chosen and we have the card we have order tracking we have the my account page it will display at products or we can show special sale products nearly everything that you like. So it's very flexible and you can remember that you can set global or category based tabs in the settings directly. The other custom product tabs were set on the product directly and you can use stylings and yeah, the appliance and callbacks wherever you like. Uh, I hope you liked the video. And yeah, we would be happy if you get our plugin to create some awesome new tabs for your products. If you have questions, then let me know in the comment sections. Otherwise, yeah, please enjoy the plugin.